What's going on, everybody? Matt Tobacco from SpokenTobacco.com. We are here live at TPE 2023. We are here at the Gurkha Cigar Booth with none other than Mr. Juan Lopez. Juan, hello. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm excited because we're going to talk about the Ghost Connecticut, which is a cigar that one of one of the new cigars that you have here that's new that you and Bianca. Uh, talked about and kind of broke the news on mm -hmm. on the show last month when you guys right. came on. That's so right. now we're here, we're looking at it, very excited. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Thank you, man. You guys got married. Yeah. It's so exciting. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hell of a wedding. Uh, had a great time. Everybody loved it. Uh, we got to enjoy it. I mean, we did a, a lot of dancing. Yeah. Uh, we went through 395 cigars at the wedding, which is pretty crazy, right? And uh, everybody had a, everybody had a great time, and uh, yeah, man. Now it's you know back on the road, back to work, and uh, and then hopefully here in the next month and a half we're we're going on our honeymoon and try to enjoy that, and then back to real work and, and real life, really. You know, so. you're a guy who is getting older, as we all are, but you seem to continue to find ways to like live younger. You know, you you're 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 we're kind of winning that race against time. I gotta say, I mean. You're one of the hardest partiers in this business. Um, yes, <laughs> dude, you're a super, you're a superhuman. I'm telling you. Uh, no, nah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, brother. It's it's uh, it's getting it, it hurts now. It hurts a little more than it used to. Uh, I've toned it down to like three days, three days a week of drinking instead of seven days. Yeah. And uh, now, nah, I, I listen. I drink when I'm around friends, smoking cigars. If I don't smoke cigar, if I don't drink, I wouldn't smoke really. Yeah. Uh, I think it just goes well together. And uh, you know. I'm 52 years old, I'm not getting any younger like you said, but 26 years of doing this, I mean, I could have been a zillionaire by now, but it wouldn't be as fun. No. <laughs> at least you're enjoying everybody. it. I'm yeah. enjoying the hell out of it. I'm not a millionaire, but it's okay. I'm having fun. It's all good. Nah, it's, it's listen, man, it's uh, all all, in, all within reason, all in moderation, like everything else. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, dude, I, I love it out here, man. I, we we spent like seven hours yesterday at, at Club 8 with, you know, the, all, all the boys in the, in the industry. It was great to see the Davidoff guys that I don't get to see because they don't go to PCA, unfortunately. Right, right. And, you know, guys from Altadas and all that stuff. Which, again, man, I love my industry. I love my guys and, and my ladies in the industry. And I think that's what keeps me young and keeps me going, just hanging out, making some money, selling cigars, and meeting great people, man. That's what it's all about. Well, talking about staying youthful and staying fresh, you got some fresh faces to the booth this year. Uh, as I mentioned before, let's start with Ghost Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I know that this is an extension of your, your probably your, your best-selling brand, yep. the Ghost line. Yep. Uh, going with the Connecticut Shade Wrapper, tell us a little bit about this. So, Where can so, we see I mean, it? We literally, what we did is, you know, the, the trilogy, per se. Yep. Uh, you know, we have the original Ghost, which has got the Arepiraca wrapper. Uh, that's always, uh, the three SKUs are always in the top 10 SKUs in sales. Uh, and uh, then we got, came out with the gold. That did pretty well in a few sizes. Uh, that's got his own clientele all, all in, uh, as far as more like a medium body, not as smoky as a regular Ghost is. And then we said, you know what? We'll make the last edition, the, uh, the Connecticut. And so we went to our, our, our boy, our guy, uh, a floors down in PDR. Oh yeah, and uh, you know he's always made great cigars for us. I mean he makes a few millions uh, goes a year for us already, so it was a no-brainer to make sure that he made the Connecticut. So we found this beautiful Connecticut wrapper, uh, Ecuadorian. Um, we kept the same exact blend with the Mexican, all Nicaraguan, Dominican uh, tobaccos. Again, mild but medi medium in, in flavor, but mild creamy still with that wrapper. Right. But it's got a little more a little more kick than your regular mild mild cigar. Yeah. Um, Kept it at the same price point, that eight to ten dollar price point, Keystone. Uh, kept it to three sizes: Robusto, Toro, six by sixty. We're not gonna reinvent the wheel. No need to. Yeah. And that's what we did with that, and uh, we're excited. Uh, it's gonna launch at the um, uh, Smoke Day. Uh, Gray Smoke. Great Smoke. This. <laughs> Sorry, Abe. At the uh, Gray Smoke with uh, my man Abe. Uh, in uh, coming up here in a few weeks and then it'll be nationwide after that nice 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 yeah we're excited about it brother and then the other thing you have here is you have three new cigars that are part of this grand age two set mm -hmm. which i know you guys are working with a new factory mm -hmm. you had these boxes mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. uh, as we talked about before on the show um tell us a little bit about where these cigars are made mm -hmm. 
and what, what what the value is because I know these are these are a great value for us. Absolutely. So so yeah, man. We, you know, Kalucci and I we do our, our you know every every two weeks we'll we'll go in on Monday and do do the walk in the warehouse. You know, we have a fifty thousand square foot warehouse with all kinds of boxes, bands, this, that, and the other. And we found these boxes. We had 2,700 boxes that were just sitting there for the last like seven years. And uh, we said, you know, what, what can we do with these? So we called in uh, our marketing person, Bianca Lopez now, and she goes, why, why don't we do something, uh, maybe doing like three different tiers. It used to fit 33 cigars. Why, we could fit 60 in a, in a Toro. Yeah. And give it, and, and give it a, uh, an inexpensive, um, experience but with a premium cigar so you know i did my due diligence went down to nicaragua gym found this small little factory he's been talking to me now for like six months i gave this guy an opportunity uh like i told you earlier the guy doesn't even draw test his cigars he weighs them and every cigar that i smoked was perfect and that really? was that was impressive in wow. itself so i mean we kept it simple again uh, ecuador connecticut habano uh, maduro um, uh, nicaragua maduro and all nicaraguan tobacco mild medium full body um, you get uh, your retail cost on this is gonna be 650 a cigar so everybody could smoke it one size only six by 54 then the idea behind it is for for the consumer is to enjoy a really good cigar at six bucks man because everybody nowadays is you know 18 12 8 whatever you know it's the ranges and price points right there's still some good good values to be had at a good value price and uh, good tobacco so we're excited about it I think that it gives a lot of uh, smaller stores that can't do the uh, the uh, you know bringing in so many facings be able to bring this stuff in and uh, we're excited and we're gonna do a refill program so once you're done selling these you can call us and we refill with bundles and we're even dropping a little bit more in price to the retailer so you can pass it on to the consumer wow that's awesome yeah man this will be available in uh, two weeks Really, already? Mm -hmm. That's quick, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, mm -hmm. keep an eye out for that if you're local Gurkha retailer. So, One thing I wanted to ask you while we're here, um, you kind of lightly touched on this before. I know we, we knew you guys announced this a few weeks ago, but you did do a small price increase. Yes. A little bit this year, but not not across the board. It wasn't It wasn't across the board. It was uh, It was literally on the Ghost. So the Ghost has always been a, a great cigar for the price, right? Yep. We had not had a price increase in four years. Uh, we met with every single manufacturer that works with us, and they all, when their prices went up, anywhere from eight to fifteen percent. Yeah. So what we did was, we ate half of the cost. We didn't want to pass it on to the retailer and the consumer, so we went up in price and stuff like the uh, the Ghost, uh, about nine percent. Uh, we went up on uh, a few of our variety packs, so they, were, they were inexpensive as it is. Went up about five percent on those, which is not much. We did keep our core brands, meaning the the uh, infused, the bourbon, cognac, and rum. Yeah. Didn't change pricing, and same thing on all the seller reserves, which is obviously our our flagship cigar. So we it was mainly Ghost Heritage, Havana Legend. And it was anywhere from five to ten percent increase per cigar is what it was. Yeah, I mean it's you know we, we've talked about it in the industry. There's going to be some price increases. There's going to be you know costs going up. With inflation, the pandemic didn't help situations either. Absolutely. So it wasn't it wasn't a shock to see that from from a lot of manufacturers. But you know it, it's nice to see you know you try not to just do it across the board. And right. You guys have a good handle on it, which is nice. yeah, so. man. I, again, listen, man. We're 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 in the business. Yeah, listen. We all want to make money. But at the end of the day, we're in the business of, of you know, enjoying a good time with people, hanging out, providing great smokes, uh, an experience. You know, that, that's what makes us a little bit different. We we use six def different factories. Very few guys do that. Yeah. But we do that on purpose. So you have different fla flavor profiles in different cigars. So yeah. that's what we're going to continue to do. And that's what's worked for us for 30 years. And, you know, we're doing all right. Well, Juan. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Thanks for talking with us. Congratulations on everything. And uh, appreciate you, bro. we'll see you later this year at PCA. You got it. We'll do it, my man. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more coverage from TPE 2023 brought to you by Drew Estate.